Hey everybody, it's Janice with Creating Through Chaos, and today we're going to make a Dollar Tree shadow box. So I grabbed three of these little boxes with the drawers in it from Dollar Tree. An ornament snowman from Walmart. A J and an O in small letters and a bell. Some faux snow from Dollar Tree. Some glitter snow. Some red and some teal chalk paint and white chalk paint. So the first thing I'm going to do is pull the drawers out of the boxes and you can set those aside and save them for another project. And then I'm going to paint the outside of all of the boxes with the teal color chalk paint. Once that's all dry, I'm going to take the white chalk paint and paint the inside of all of three of the boxes. Once I have those all painted and they're all dry, I'm going to paint my J and my O with the red chalk paint. I got the letters from Hobby Lobby at different times. Um, they have different like fonts that you can buy. So I used two different fonts that I had of the wooden letters. And these are just small wooden letters. They were, are going to fit right inside of the boxes. So once I had the letters all painted, I set them aside to dry. And then I'm going to take and hot glue the boxes on top of each other in a staggered manner. So one I'm going to face one way and then the top one I'm going to face another way. So they're just a little bit staggered. Not huge, but enough to notice that they're a little bit staggered. And I'm just going to use hot glue for that. Once I have them all glued together, I'm going to take some Mod Podge and run it along the bottom of each one of the boxes. And then I'm going to fill each one with some faux snow and then just dump out the excess. Once I have the bottoms of them all filled with snow, I'm going to hot glue my letters and my bell inside of each box. So for the top box, I'm going to hot glue my J in. The second box, I'm going to glue the bell in for the O. And then the bottom box, I'm going to glue the Y in. And this takes quite a bit of hot glue. So you have to hold it for a minute to let it set. And then once I had these all done, I just took a tiny bit of Mod Podge to cover up the glue that I had left behind and just threw a little bit of snow on top of the glue so you couldn't see it. Last letter, and how cute is that? That's so adorable. Next, I'm going to pop the hanger off of the snowman, and then I'm going to cut off the plastic piece that held the hanger. And it's going to put a hole in the top of the snowman's hat, so that's where this glitter snow is going to come in. I'm going to use that on the top of the hat to cover up the hole. Then I'm going to add a little bit to the brim of the hat. Once I have all the snow on the snowman, I'm just going to take some hot glue and I am going to hot glue him to the very top of the boxes. And then I'm going to take some Mod Podge and run it around the base of the snowman on top of the box. And then I'm going to add some faux snow to the top of that.
and now he looks like he's sitting in a little bit of a base of snow. And then I took some of the glitter snow and added it to the letters and to the bell. And this project is done. How absolutely adorable is this? I think it looks super cute with the snow on each one of the letters and on the bell. And I just think this turned out so much fun. I absolutely love the color combination. It's just super, super cute. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this inspires you to make one. And please don't forget to spread the chaos.